What is logical problem solving? Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And logical problem solving sounds something that's rather complicated, but uh, once you see the definition and an example on what that involves, then you should find it rather approachable, hopefully. So here's the definition. Logical problem solving is the using of words and expressions to logically form mathematical symbols to solve equations. In other words, taking the words and being able to logically just write symbols on your way to forming an equation that will be solvable. So here's an illustration as to what this actually entails. Suppose you have the scenario, 3 less than twice a number is 13. What is the number? Now, when it comes to these problem solving problems, it's always important to try to tackle things one phrase or word at a time. If you try to do the whole thing at once, it does tend to be a little overwhelming. So let's start from the beginning. Three less than. It's very easy to want to put the less than symbol on it, but three less than, we have a number less than something, it actually involves subtraction. So three less than means it's minus three. If the phrases had said, three more than, it would have been a plus three. Now, twice a number. When you do something twice, you're doing something two times. Again, that's what it means, two times. Well, two times means multiplication. So, that's what twice a number actually means. Twice a number means a number multiplied by two. So, let's let n be the number. So, on one side of the equation, you have two n minus 3. Is is another way of saying equal sign. So just put the symbol equal after that and of course you know the rest is 13. Now to solve for it it's just like any other algebra equation. Just get n by itself. Add 3 to both sides. You're going to have 2n. The 3's cancel equal to 16. And then the last step to get n by itself divide both sides by 2 and you'll have as a result n equals to 8. So by logically forming the equation, which it was the harder part, solving it becomes pretty easy. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an example of logical problem solving.